Welcome to yet another psychotic episode in the Debian Stable. Now, some of you guys have mentioned that you would like to see me running Sid. And uh, some of you also mentioned that if I'm going to try Sid, that I should consider Aptisid. So I figured I'd download a ISO image and have a look at that. We're going to look at that right now on Spadry's Cup of Linux. Alright, I have just booted up Aptisid. I have never looked at it before. And uh, I am greeted with Ice Weasel, which uh, gives us the Aptisid page, or at least an offline version of it, uh, giving some information. Um, looks like there are some release notes here. And that sort of thing. Now, I was attracted to the XFCE version. Obviously, um, I like to run a somewhat lightweight system, which is what I'm doing here with Arch, even though I'm running Compiz as a standalone. It really doesn't use that much resources, I've found. So uh, I'm quite pleased with it, and uh, if I decide to use Aptisid, obviously I'm going to do the same thing, since I've uh, learned so much with Arch, and that sort of thing. So. All right, well, let's go ahead and close the release notes here, and let's see what you get. Looks like we got a nice little lightweight dock bar. There's a home folder. Uh, we can find applications. This is the web browser. I'm not sure what that is. Then we have a terminal and another folder here. Okay, well, let's click on it and see what it is. And I do realize some of this stuff uh, may burn through some resources here. Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Well, apparently it looks like we've run into our first little niggle here. This doesn't really do anything. Okay, well, it's alright. It is what it is. We're running unstable, aren't we? They've given us a bunch of uh, links to look at here. I'm not sure what they are. One of them looks like an installer. They have an IRC link here. The Aptisid manual and then the release notes. Okay, good deal. Alright, well let's see what default applications we get with this. Obviously we're running XFCE. We've got four desktops. We have a time indicator and then we have a, a logout dialog up here. Alright, and of course we can run a program, we get a terminal emulator. Which one did they give us? Okay, it's just the XF regular XFCE terminal. Okay, very nice. And I'm assuming this is using the Thunar file manager. And of course, we know that we get the uh, that we get the unbranded Firefox, which is Ice Weasel. And of course, we get our standard XFCE settings with this. In accessories, we get the application finder, Brazero, bulk rename, calculator, clipman, help, image viewer, midnight commander, mouse pad, notes, orange, global time, a root terminal, screenshot. Sensor Viewer, Task Manager, Terminal, Thunar, as I expected, X-Archiver, and the XFCE4 Print Dialog and Manager. And Graphics. Ah, that looks like they gave us Events. Very nice. I like that one. Image Viewer, uh, Ristretto Image Viewer, and Xsane Image Scanning Program. Internet, we get Aptisid IRC, a Seni eLinks web browser, Ice Weezer, SSH start, 
Transmission, XChat IRC, and XDG Browser Launcher. In multimedia, again, Brazero, GXine, Mixer, and XF Burn. In Office, we get Abbey Word, Dictionary, GNU Metric, Orish Calendar, and Orish Global Time. Great, no major Office Suite. All I use is Abbey Word myself, so this is perfect for me. Okay, and then we get in system, ADSL PPOE configuration, Aptisid installer, Aptisid manual, bulk rename, G parted, H top, really cool program. If none of you, guys, if you, any of you guys haven't seen this, this is a super lightweight manager that shows you all your processes that you have running. It's not bloated like the uh, GNOME version and that sort of thing. This is really cool. I actually run this in my own terminal that I have here. And uh, I, I can't sing it enough praises. It's intuitive and super duper lightweight. All right, and uh, notably, that's another one of my favorite applications now. Okay, and then we have, uh, oh, a nice little utility so you can install Aptisid to a USB. Convenient if you want to bring it along with you wherever you go. You get a kernel remover. Hmm. If anybody knows what that is, please tell me. <laughs> Set password, task manager, terminal, and the Thunar file manager kernel remover. <laughs> How is it going to run without a kernel? <laughs> okay. Okay, well at any rate, um, we know we're running unstable already because we have one icon that really isn't assigned to anything. Let me see what the properties on this is supposed to be. And it just says launcher. Uh, well, I suppose we could uh, just... Uh, configure it to do whatever we want to and that sort of thing so all right well I think this is a nice little base system I can get my greedy little hands dirty with so I think I'll play with this um, a little bit I think I'm going to like this better than uh, the uh, Debian and switching that over and of course the nice thing about this is I can still use the Debian um, source generator to pull down some extra sources and that sort of thing because I did take a look at some packages and I know that if I am going to want to run Compass it must be uh, the .8.8 .8, and Debian has .8.4 uh, oh well it is what it is I'll figure all that stuff out uh, in time rest assured on that one Okay, well, that was your quick look of the Deb, of the uh, Aptisid, and uh, I think I'm going to play with this rather than uh, mucking about with my uh, Debian install. I think I want to keep that one stable, and so for uh, working with uh, unstable, I think I'll go with this one. Uh, I think this would be a better choice. If you thought this was useful, please comment down below and, of course, subscribe. Also, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video up to YouTube. Also, I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, send me a private message. I'll try my best to answer your questions, and if I don't know the answer, I'll point you in the right direction. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I am counting down to my 200th episode, and this is going to be something you definitely won't want to miss. That will be coming up hopefully by this weekend. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to take a little bit of a break though because I still have a lot of Windows software and programs that I want to get working under Wine on my main system. And uh, I just have been neglecting uh, that responsibility of getting that stuff taken care of. Alright, well I'd like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.